Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Meat Boy. Today we're going to be going through the dark world of the end. Dr. Fetus's lair. A doctor's, a Dr. Wily's castle, if you will. Oh, that was close. Yeah, these, uh, these last six levels are pretty good. They're nice and long and they're packed with just plentiful ways to fucking die. Just like that, just, you know, you get to the very last, you know, key of the level, and, uh, you die. That's, that's pretty much how it goes. Whoa! Alright, let's fucking speed run this motherfucker. Whoop! Nope. Oh, there we go. Circular saws ain't got nothing on me, for I am meat boy. There we go. And down we go to Band-Aid Girl, on to level 2. Oh, wow. Didn't expect to land on that, I thought I was gonna fucking die. Okay, I died there, lovely. Good to know, though, that jumping down that tube lands you there. Oof. Anyway, I'm sure, uh, I actually think this is easier than its Light World counterpart. I might be crazy, but it feels easier to run to me. Maybe it's just something about going backward, getting the hard part over first by going backward, or running the level backwards as it were, versus having to run it forward and then run it backward. Who knows, either way. I definitely find it way easier. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nothing could be more fucking fitting than for me to talk about how much easier this level is and how much easier it is for me to run than to have all of that taken away by me throwing myself into the only saw that was still standing between me and Band-Aid Girl at the very end of the level. That's... That's Super Meat Boy. That, that is the essence of Super Meat Boy. You get cocky, you think you're gonna be doing really well, and the game's like, hey, guess what, you stupid son of a bitch. You're literally gonna die. Eh, so this is the third level, obviously. I mean, if you've been paying attention, I beat two of them. A lot of these levels, really, they just look a lot like their Light World counterparts, just most of them are in reverse. And they have an extra saw or two here and there. Whoa! Well, that was bullshittery. It's a word I just made up. Bullshittery. I probably didn't make it up. I've heard it before. Either way, fucking dumb as shit. So let's try that again and not get hit by that saw. Or maybe I will again. Because Meat Boy can't make up his goddamn mind on where to stand. Later, not dealing with you anymore. <laughs> and then you come up here and get the one where the gate's going up and down. I'd also like to point out that that key is not resting on a platform of any kind. That key is resting on another saw. <laughs> the, the game's pulled out all stops at this point. It just doesn't even care anymore. It's like, hey, you wanted to play video games, right? Well... Oh, I have no words for how disappointed in myself I am. If I were my parents, I would not have gone to my graduation. That's that's how pathetic that was. I literally just can't even deal with it. I just like I want to like turn the game off and just fucking just end it all right now. <laughs> oh, that was so lame. Oh, oh, okay. So, you decided you wanted to actually make it. That's fine with me, Meat Boy. You just gotta let me know these things before the last second! Whew. Well, after that display, I sure hope we don't fucking die. Oh, oh, 
it, it's like I say it and you do it. If I say, man, I sure hope we win, or I sure hope we don't win, does that mean we're going to win? Because I'd be okay with that. A little bit of reverse psychology on you. Yeah, we're doing well. We're doing pretty well so far. But you know how that goes. Ugh. Oh. Is it really necessary to put a key on a saw? Like I, like, I almost feel like that's just one of the guys who was designing the levels. I don't know if it was Edmund or Tommy. But whoever put that there was like, he 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 he. We made a funny joke. At the expense of whoever. Whichever poor sap bought this game and got this far. I imagine a lot of people probably didn't even make it this far. In fact, I imagine most of the people that bought Super Meat Boy sh did not make it to Dark World Rapture. I bet I'm in the minority. Or if they made it, you know, they didn't get anywhere near finishing it. Oh god, please leave me alone. Oh no, no. Oh god, I hate jumping on those moving platforms. Like, I'm glad this is the level of all things that's gonna fuck me. Because if anything, I think those last two levels are a little bit harder. And yeah, you could tell by the map that I had done practice runs of them, but I was also doing a practice run of this one. And I wasn't doing too hot at it. Or rather, I was doing pretty well at it. And I was like, oh, surely I'll be fine now. I'm just gonna go start the video up and... We'll get these uh, last few levels on, uh, on camera without doing a test run. It'll be fine. There's only six levels in this world. How bad could it possibly be? Well... Probably should have put a little more thought into that. Whoa, okay, fuck you. Alright. There we go. Okay, that was just. That is off to the start that I wanted for this level. Whoa, fuck you. Okay. I am quickly running out of patience for saws that swing around on robotic arms. That is just... It's not okay. That, seriously. There's just no room for error here. I really should have seen that coming. Um... There we go. All about finding that timing. Whoa! Come on now, that wasn't cool. Fuck you. Whoa! Alright, so this is like fucking... All of these saws are riding spinners right now. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, that's the coolest shit. Like, that is some serious, like, you gotta be on your game bullshit right there. Like, there's no fucking around there. Wow. Just wow. I thought that I was, like, on a good run there, too. Like, I was just gonna be able to go just trust my instincts. Whoa! Well, not there. Um, am I gonna die? Yep. <laughs> I 
There's nothing forgiving about this level. Ugh. Come on now. Not only is there nothing forgiving, but there is also nothing fucking fair. There we go. Whoop. Alright, there we go. I've had worse. Oh, really? We're gonna finish this level. We may be. <laughs> I shouldn't say we're gonna finish this level, because that's not definitive. But we are gonna finish this level, and we're gonna get sucked into fucking Glitch World. Oh, that's fucking cool. I didn't even I didn't even remember the World 6 had a glitch world. Man, it's fucking brutal too, isn't it? I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, it's cool, it looks like the uh it's very reminiscent of the old Super Mario Bros. 3 ship at the end of the end of each world. That's cool. I forgot about that. Anyway, we're gonna do that later. <laughs> oh, we A plus World 4. That's good to know at least. Oh hey, this one isn't actually reversed, it's just literally covered in saws. Oh, please, nerd. <laughs> I actually had time there, too. I don't have time there. That was poorly done. Poorly executed, meat boy. Fucking two out of ten. Oh! Ugh. Welcome to literally hell. Well, no, I guess not literally hell. Hell was world four. Ugh. This is obviously designed to be one of the hardest levels in the game, since it's the one right before the f the final boss. Which is oh god, why would I ever ever do that anyway? Obviously, stuff in uh, Dark World Cotton Alley is going to be a little bit harder, but this is one of the longest. This is like the long, the longest, the hardest long level, I believe, in the game. Because the stuff in Cotton Alley is more like standard Meat Boy length. Ugh. Brutal. Alright, oh, no, 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 no! What a poor jump. Literally the jump to ruin all jumps. Okay. That's not as bad as I remember it. That was. <laughs> Oof, fuck. That was... Poorly executed. That was what that was, that was poorly executed. I lost my word there in my train of thought. Where currently my train of thought is, oh my god, saws everywhere! Fucking Dr. Fetus must have like fucking stock in Home Depot or some shit. There's no reason he should have access to this many saws. And just one level. <laughs> oh god, I gotta I really gotta think that jump through. I keep getting there and just doing it without thinking, and that's really ruining my day. Oh, fuck. Man. Man. You don't want to get here and just fucking, like, drop the ball, you know? Band-Aid Girl is counting on you to beat Dark World Dr. Fia. This is like, it's like Otherworld in Silent Hill. And fucking Dr. Fetus is Pyramid Head. 
And you gotta save Band-Aid Girl from Pyramid Head, because he's gonna rape her. You don't want that. You gotta, you, you gotta save her. It's, it's so important. Oh yeah, look at that. Fucking delicious. Delicious victory. About to be followed by a delicious failure, right? No, no, not at all. Just more and more delicious victory. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the grand finale of, right, of the main campaign of Super Meat Boy, Dr. Fetus in the Dark World. Alright, as you can see, the difference is I don't remember. It's been a while since I did that last video. I think it's the difference is that there's no... Ah, I don't even remember. Were there, were there saws in front of me last time? There's more saws here. It's a lot more saws. Forward movement. Forward movement. It's imperative that you go fast. Yep. This actually looks very much the same. Wow. We got him on our first try. I'm extremely impressed and extremely proud of myself right now. <laughs> we did it for realsies. We beat Dark World Dr. Fetus. But we still gotta escape Dark World Dr. Fetus. Yay, yeah, look at how happy we are. Oh, look at that, I got the self-stroke button. Just like last time. He hits it with his middle finger. That's fucking hardcore. Alright. That's definitely new. Oh, that was so bad. That was equally awful. <laughs> Ooh, fucking bad. Shouldn't have even tried from that length. Oh, come on. What am I doing? Oof, good lord. Do you guys see this shit? Like... This is the kind of shit you gotta do. It's just like, yeah, this is normal. Okay, no big deal. Luckily, I don't think this is timed. Oh, that was just like literally one of the worst jumps I've made in this entire Let's Play. Not because it was like particularly awful, but just because. I mean, it was particularly awful. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that it was like, it was obviously bad. Like, that jump should have been easy, but I made it ridiculously hard. By being bad at it. Oh, jump way too soon. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. Alright, we got it. It's, it's gonna pop off. We're doing it. Oh, I had to, like, it was either jump or die. And, you know. Oof, that was bad. But, yeah, that last part was either I was either going to jump and die or not jump and die. I figured I would at least try to jump and save the attempt. Alright, I'm feeling good about this attempt. Apparently 
not good enough. Oof, that was dumb. Oh god, I really wish I would have practiced this level. Down we go. Ah, that's more like it. Ooh. God, it's so goddamn brutal. Oh, did I really just die by going off screen? That's... Oh, my... That actually makes me really mad. Ooh. Wow, I can just get hit there. Okay, I guess that's good to know. Don't go too high up on that wall slide. Or you'll die. I'm uh, just gonna take my time. Oh, wow. Missed the fucking ball I wanted to be on. I'll take my time here, and there's no need to rush. If there's anything Boston taught me, it was just take your time. Just move along. You'll forget about me. After I've been gone. Alright, I guess I just have to wait. Alright. Fucking looks like we may do it this time. But you know what? I'm not gonna get my fucking hopes up because I have fucked up here before. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, just gotta get on the other side of that saw go. Oh god, we did it! Nice. Alright, this is the final cutscene. I actually don't even remember if this is different from the Light World cutscene. I'm just happy to be through that level. <laughs> oh, yay, Brownie Boy is back. No, man, so just save yourself. It's not worth it. Band-Aid girl is a fucking heartless bitch. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Castlevania, kind of the ending when the castle's falling into the ground. Yeah, I'm not amused. Yeah, get off. The <laughs> meat boy's just like, no, what are you doing, you idiot? Oh, God! She's curb stomping the fetus. <laughs> Alright, well. That was. That was the Dark World Super Meat Boy. Well, most of it. Join us next time when we go through the Dark World of Cotton Alley. I'm not excited. It's literally gonna be a bastard. Alright, I'll catch you guys then.